So what M.2 SSD drives are people buying on Amazon the most right now? Let's find out. Welcome back to the channel. So if you watch my channel before, you know I do a lot of reviews of technology. In fact, I always recommend stuff. Here's a Western Digital Black SN770 SSD. I love this thing, M.2 drive. I also do a ton of reviews of these external storage devices because I'm a Mac channel, you can't put your own drives in them, but you can do a lot of external storage like these Thunderbolt 4 enclosures. So check out my channel for all that stuff. But I like data, I like looking at data. And when I do reviews, I always think I'm only one person. So I'm always like, I can tell people what I you know, my experience is, but I can't really give you the best review. I mean, I do product showcases more or less. If you look online, I mean, look here, Tom's Hardware, it says best SSDs of 2024, right here. PC World, best SSDs of two, they all have their own idea and they're not always the same, right? We don't know the relationship they have with the companies that we're recommending. I mean, I obviously I believe they're all in the up and up, but still they have a lot of people doing tests. What tests are they doing? So I think data is really important. So I thought maybe what we'll do is today is we'll actually say, well, what are people actually buying on Amazon? So I'm gonna go through the top 15 M.2 SSD drives people are buying right now in time. That could be because of sales. It could be because of any reason. It's a block that Amazon puts like in the last month. What are the top SSDs selling that are M.2 drives? Now you can do a ton of reviews on stuff and I do them all the time, but what are people actually buying? Because they're going out and researching stuff and then they come in and buy stuff on Amazon and we're gonna see the top 15 people are actually putting their money towards. And I think that's a key data point, right? I think that's important. So let's get into the top 15 M.2 SSD drives and I'll have links to all this in the description. Let's get into it. All right, so number one, this is one I probably would have guessed, but maybe not. So here it is, Samsung 980 Pro SSD, two terabyte. Now, again, I don't mean, it doesn't mean that it's the two terabyte version. I'm, I'm going off, these are the top brands. So this is gonna be the 980 Pro. It can be any of the variations here, two terabyte, one terabyte, but this is the top selling number one drive on Amazon. It's an M.2. Now they have a 990 version, which is surprising. So the 980 SSD here is selling better. It's $167 too for two terabytes. So it's not the cheapest drive by far. It's actually more of an expensive drive. But obviously I think this is just one that people definitely love and they use and they know it's gonna last them a really long time. And I'm a more of a Mac channel, but if you're a PC user or something, but even for backup storage, these are super reliable. So number one goes to Samsung, the 980 Pro. All right, so number two surprised me a little bit. This is the number two selling drive right now. It's the Kingston NV2. This is the one terabyte, but it can be any of these down here. So the Kingston NV2 drive here, the M.2 drive, it's up to 3,500 megabytes per second, so it's not the fastest. I think one of the reasons this is selling okay is it's got a four terabyte version here for 250 bucks, which is a pretty good cost there. But overall, $60 for, basically $60 for a one terabyte version is more of a budget drive as well. So maybe that's why, but Kingston, who would have guessed a number two slot out of all the different manufacturers, Kingston takes number two, and that's just right now. Obviously, this can change later, but that's what's going on right now. All right, number three, and I'm kind of vindicated on this, and I didn't plan this. It's the SN770 by Western Digital, the Western Digital Black. Take a look. This is number three. This is going to be the one I use on all my stuff. It's super responsive. I've used it on all these enclosures. Never had a problem. Very, very quick, too. I think they're up to, what does it say here? I mean, it's it's going to be, it says up to 4,900, 5,000 megabytes per second, somewhere in that, yeah, 5,100, basically. So it's going to be a fairly fast drive, not the fastest by far. It's 84 bucks for one terabyte right now, um, 138 for two terabytes, so it's still not the cheapest either, but just a good work, workhorse of a drive. But this takes number three, so people are still buying this quite a bit now, even though this is a little bit of an older drive. So it's, it's you know, people must like it, and that gives us a little bit of data there. All right, so number four, and I probably would have guessed number four here, this is the Samsung 990 Pro Series. This is the two, two terabyte version, but again, that doesn't matter. 189 bucks though for two terabytes. That's an expensive drive, right? 189 bucks, but it's the 990 Pro. So the 980 Pro is number one. That's a little bit older version. This is the newer version of this. So people are still buying the older version more, maybe because it's a little bit cheaper. You can see down here, this is up to 7450 megabytes per second. So it's a very fast drive, but still the newer drive, even though it's 24% off right now, is selling less than the, the older drive. I guess that's just the way it goes. That old drive people love, they know the name of it probably and they keep buying it. This new one's gonna maybe take a little bit of time. All right, and the fifth position is kind of the, you know, the, the drive that's a little bit faster than the one I showed you earlier, this Western Digital. The fifth one is Western Digital Black two terabyte SN850X right here. This is up to 7,300 megabytes per second. So it's a really fast drive. 145 bucks right now on sale for a two terabyte version, but that doesn't matter. People are buying this even less than the SN770, maybe because of cost, obviously. 
But I know this is a great drive by Western Digital Black. So Western Digital right now in the top five, they have two drives. Samsung has two drives. And then basically what Kingston had one drive in the top five, pretty interesting. Number six is another Samsung. So the number six most purchased drive, this is weird, Samsung 990 Evo, EVO. Now, I think a lot of people, this is the 990 version, the newer version here. It's a, it's a more of a budget drive, uh, less than 80 bucks for a one terabyte version here. And I think people buy this, this is the EVO version, which means you're gonna get a little bit slower speeds. It's uh, 5,000 megabytes per second versus like the 7, 7,500. You're also gonna get slightly less terabytes written on, on these things. So over time, there's a terabyte written kind of number and you can write cycles to this as, you know, the EVOs usually have a little bit less than the standard drives, but they're still huge and most people will never touch them. I think people don't even know what this means or they don't even care. They just see the 990, you know, versus another 990 and they just buy it. That might be why this is in here. But number six, now Samsung takes, what is it? Three of the top six slots, they're doing pretty good. All right, number seven. So first one, we, now we have a Crucial, another manufacturer. So here it is, the Crucial T500, two terabyte version. Again, it doesn't matter in the size. 155 bucks though for two terabytes. So it's not the cheapest drive either. Pretty fast though, 7,400 megabytes per second here. But Crucial T500, I wouldn't have guessed that either. So the first Crucial, what is it? The six or six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slot, sorry. Seven slot goes to Crucial, not too bad. Now the eighth slot is interesting to me, um, and maybe I'm just missing something here, probably because I'm not a huge gamer and PlayStation person, but the eighth slot goes to this Western Digital Black two terabyte SN850, but with a P here. Obviously it looks like it's got kind of a heat sink over it. It's also got this PlayStation little branding here. So I'm guessing this is used for your PlayStation quite a bit. It's not a, it's not a cheap drive. Two terabytes, 199 bucks also right now, even though it's on 13% off. Still, I would not have guessed this, but this is very similar to the SN850X. I'm guessing just the heat sink maybe is the only difference, but I'm not sure. But this comes in again. So that's not, not you know, I wouldn't have guessed this. I would have thought it was maybe a more inexpensive drive, but here we go. And uh, this takes that slot. All right, number nine, we actually have another Crucial drive here. This is the Crucial P3 Plus, you can see it here. So look for the P3 Plus. They also have a P3 version, which is a little bit less expensive. This one's up to 5,000 megabytes per second. Four terabytes for 228 bucks. Maybe that's why people are buying this. Huge four terabytes for one of the cheapest prices I think I've seen. Right now it's actually 36% off, so not a bad deal, but it's always somewhere in the you know, mid to low 200s, I think. Somewhere in that range, but anyways, I'm kind of interested. So this is the number, what is the number nine spot. Um, let's see, what keep, let's keep going here and see what else we got. All right, number 10 is the drive that's kind of the slower version of this. This is another Crucial. So Crucial, I think, has now four drives in here. This is the Crucial P3 one terabyte version. This is the P3. So it doesn't, it doesn't say P3 plus, it just says P3. So you can see here, this is only 3,500 megabytes per second. The last one that we just looked at was up to 5,000. So that's really the main difference there. But this is 68 bucks. It's a little bit less expensive. And uh, four terabytes, 225 bucks as well. That's not even that much less than the one we just looked at. So anyways, it's still more of a budget drive. I think people don't even realize the difference between the two. But again, this takes the 10th spot. All right, the 11 spot is interesting because it's the first kind of budget drive and I've used these, I've recommended these. This is the Silicon Power one terabyte version. Well, again, version doesn't matter. This is an NVMe M.2. And if you look in here, it's 59 bucks. So it's one of the cheaper drives out there for a full terabyte drive right now. And let me see if I can find the model number in here. It's actually gonna be the A60. So A60 is the model number, one terabyte, 59 bucks. First one, that's kind of more of a budget one, but still 4.6 out of five on the ratings here. Silicon Power, I've used a ton of them. They work really well. I think I, you know, I'd recommend this definitely for sure. Number 12 is interesting, another Samsung here. This is the Samsung 970 Evo. So it's the kind of the slower version, the EVO. It's also from the 970, which is there's a 980 now and a 990, which is crazy. So people are going back for this one. So in the 12 spot here, it doesn't says, uh, let me just see here, it says pricing is in cards. So I think they have a sale going on, price hidden, but still 500 gigabytes is very expensive. I don't know why people are still buying this. It's kind of interesting to me, but it's still in here. This is what Amazon's claiming is the 12th, uh, 12th most bought drive on their site right now. Pretty, pretty interesting to me, but Samsung takes another slot. All right, number 13, we finally have another player here. Well, actually, no, it's the same, but the other ones were black versions. This is the Western Digital one terabyte. This is the Western Digital blue, now, not the black, but the blue version. This is the SN580. So it's gonna be even below probably the 770. 74 bucks though for one terabyte. So I would buy the 770 over this, I think. Long story short though, a lot of people like this. Uh, you know, Maybe they just like the blue color on it, I don't know. 74 bucks here. 
Two terabytes is 124. That's actually a good price for two terabytes though. I think it's more there. That's more of a budget drive as well. Up to 4,100 megabytes per second. So look for the SN 580 if you're looking for more of a budget Western Digital. And this clicks in at the 13th spot. All right, the 14th slot goes to Samsung again. This is the Samsung 980 SSD, the straight 980 SSD. This is the one terabyte version, 93 bucks right now. And uh, I mean, I guess these are just versions. Let me see what this first one was. The very first one over here was the pro version. This is just the standard version. So it's the 980, it's a year, like, you know, a couple years ago, they came up with the 980, before that the 970. This isn't the pro version, this is just the straight out 980 version. Speeds up to only 3,500, so you're gonna get a lot slower drive. But still, out of all the drives on Amazon, this still takes the number 14 slot. So what is the last drive in the top 15 sold on Amazon? This is gonna be the Acer Predator GM7000. You can see it right here. I'm not even that familiar with this drive that much. Two terabytes is 129. That's actually a pretty good cost. Up to 7,400 megabytes per second, so this makes sense. Very fast drive, very inexpensive drive. Acer, though, I would never have guessed Predator GM7000. Would you have guessed that? I mean, there's so many different drives out there, but I would never have guessed this one. Okay, so that's the top 15, again, that are purchased right now on Amazon. Keep in mind that this can change. So sales can affect this. You know, what's coming out next can affect this. But this is a short window that Amazon puts together. And it says these are the 15 most sold drives as of right now. I mean, take it with a grain of salt. But I do think having all the people that buy stuff... I mean, there's going to be a lot of people, let's just be honest, have no idea what they're doing, right? And they'll buy some of the cheapest stuff. They'll buy this and that. But I think people are smart enough to do their own research. They go out to all the different websites. They do some research. And then they come back and buy what they think is the best. So looking at this list, I think, tells us a lot. So if you're looking for kind of a solid drive that you're not going to probably have any issues with long term, I think this is a good solid list for you. You tell me. I mean, I'm a Mac channel. So I do a lot with external drives and stuff. I wish I could put these in my computer, but I can't. But still, if I'm going to buy external storage and I need it for something super important, I think these are some good options for you. Post what you think are better options or if you have other options you want to recommend. Maybe I'll do a video on it and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.